Well, all numbers might be equal, but we know weekends around here have been pretty unlucky when we it have, comes to weather. It's been bad in the weather department for that forecast every time getting rain on the weekends. Yeah. And I hate to say it, but... Don't say it. I'll, I'll wait till the end of my weather cast that way. I think you should. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> right now it's nice that we have sunshine yeah. temperatures. Uh, they're on the cool side or chilly side in the 40s and 50s, but blue sky sunshine will top out in the low 60s this afternoon. This is the capital city. Again, things looking fine for your Monday. One more check outside New Bedford. Again, looking just fine here. Quiet weather expected for today. Wide view of the radar, most of New England on the dry side. We had a couple showers that kind of passed through uh, parts of the Cape and the islands this morning. And those are making their way offshore. Some more activity behind me here up across the Great Lakes region. So temperatures right now, like I said, on the cool to chilly side, 40s and 50s. We'll warm, up, um, we'll warm them up as we go through the morning hours. Three key things, dry, cool today. Again, topping out low 60s this afternoon. A few showers on the way for Tuesday. Not really a big deal, uh, more of a nuisance than anything. And they're going to be favoring the coastline uh, during the morning hours. So we'll see that in just a second. I am checking, though, a better chance of some rain. And some of that could be steadier and heavier as we go in towards the weekend. Uh, we'll talk about that in my seven-day forecast as well. Satellite and radar, you can see again clear skies overhead, some clouds, some showers off to the east and off to the west. I'll widen the view even more so we can see what exactly is going on around the area. We have a lot of weak disturbances nearby, the one off the coast, one across the Great Lakes region with a couple of uh, troughs here, some unsettled weather there, and also this low pressure system off to our south and west. This one is the focus for tomorrow, just going to bring us, bring us some clouds and a few passing showers from time to time. Again, not a washout, not really a big deal uh, for the day tomorrow. Let's time it all out, starting with this morning. Temperatures uh, in the 40s will be rising through the 50s to the lower 60s by this afternoon. Here's 2 p.m., lots of sunshine, clear skies. Again, not a bad day to be out and doing some of those fall activities. Later on tonight, 8 o'clock, Getting back a little bit chillier in the upper 40s to around 50. Notice mainly dry conditions. There may be a shower, but I think the best chance of shower activity uh, will be after midnight and then towards daybreak on Tuesday. Here's 5 a.m. Notice some extra cloud cover around. A couple of these passing showers too. Not really a big deal, but again, they'll be with us. And right through the morning hours as well, that chance will remain. For the afternoon, we could still see a shower, but I think we'll see at least brightening skies and some sunshine uh, for the second half of the day, looking at 60s and mid-60s at that. In some cases, a little bit warmer for the day on Tuesday, but still looking dry for tomorrow night as well. So to recap, this morning's forecast, again, getting near about 60 degrees by lunchtime. Lots of sunshine expected for the afternoon will be about 62 or 63 degrees for most areas, but again, staying uh, rain free for this afternoon, cooling off a little bit into the upper 50s as we go towards the 6 p.m. hour. So for tonight, again, one more chilly night ahead, and that'll be the case actually as we go through the next several nights, looking at temperatures in the 40s, clear skies for the most part, and uh, again, maybe a shower after midnight, but especially towards daybreak as we go into uh, Tuesday morning. So here's that seven day forecast again, most of this week's not too bad. Looking at dry conditions for the most part right through Friday, but again, a few showers possible. Tuesday, not really a big deal. Mid-60s, overnight lows in the mid to upper 40s and spots. Notice the weekend forecast not looking so good right now. Rain develops on Saturday, it looks like, and now we'll look at that rainy conditions uh, con to continue into Sunday with some wind as well. Of course, this could still change. We're still a few days away, but we'll keep that updated forecast for you anytime on our website, WPR.com or the Pinpoint Weather 12 app. So I want to send things now to Melissa with an update on